Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm excited to share an unboxing video for the April of 2023 Crafty Courtyard Kit from Pink and Main. It's called Cloudy Day. Now, If you're not familiar with the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kits, they are a monthly subscription kit. So if you want to receive it in the mail each month, you can join as a subscriber on their website. The kits are packed full of crafty goodies and they are a fantastic value. When you subscribe to the kits, it will be shipped around the 15th of the month, but you can still sign up and purchase it through the end of the month unless it sells out. And if they have any kits left over after the month ends, they will be moved to the past boxes and extras page on the Pink and Main website. Your subscription will change to the next month's box on the 1st. If you'd like to purchase, I will have links to everything down in the description box. Now, these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. This helps to support my channel, so if you plan on doing some crafty shopping, I hope you'll consider using my links. Each of the Crafty Courtyard kits come in a bright pink box packaged neatly with tissue paper. It includes a mesh zippered project pouch. And this month's kit includes a page that lists all of the kit contents along with the color palette. The bottom section includes the social media links for Pink and Main and the hashtag to use if you want to post and share your creations. And this is something new this month. The back side of the paper shows some card sketches to give you some ideas of how to use the contents of the kit to make some cards. The kit includes six sheets of cardstock. In these colors, this orange color here is called construction. The yellow is street light. The light blue is called sunny sky. And then the teal is this river walk color. Then evening clouds and the gray is sidewalk. Plus there's two sheets of heavyweight white ice rink cardstock. And this kit includes these flat confetti sequins in all of the beautiful colors of the kit. And it also includes some glitter enamel dots that match the colors. Both of these are great for embellishing the cards. And then this is the stamp set called Cloudy Day. And it is a combination of images and sentiments. It's got these clouds, the moon, and some stars, and this beautiful dream catcher and a rainbow image. Plus the sentiments that say, dream big, I love you to the moon and back, reach for the stars, if you have no fear, your dreams are too small. Our friendship is what dreams are made of. May all your dreams come true. Since we cannot be together, I hope each night to see you in my dreams and you are a shooting star. And it also has these matching dies for each of the images. And it also includes these cloud border dies. And they're long enough where you can use them on slimline cards too. It also includes this embossing folder with the clouds. And then this large stencil that you can also use with pretty much any size card, card that you'd like. You can create some clouds with the inside parts and the outer edges. And now I'll show you the paper pad. This is a 6x6 six six paper pad that contains 24 double-sided sheets. This first sheet looks like glitter with this beautiful ombre of orange to yellow. The back side is a light blue linen pattern. Then this light purple bokeh pattern with a watercolor pattern on the back. And then there's a blue bokeh pattern. And then on the back of that is a pink wave pattern. And then there's another watercolor pattern in these teal, purple, and blue colors. And I think these are just gorgeous. Then there's this blue pattern with gold stars. And it kind of looks textured. Then the sunburst pattern in orange on a craft background. It's almost got like a burlap texture to it. And then these beautiful ombre patterns with the colors in the kit. And then there's some more waves. Then a light purple sheet with tiny gold stars. And then some more watercolor sheets. Aren't these just beautiful? Can't wait to make some cards with these. And then there's more stars on a light blue background. And then on the back of that, there is another linen pattern in the teal color and another sunburst pattern in a different color here. And then more waves on the back of that one. Another sunburst pattern in teal. And then another purple watercolor pattern on the back of that. And then another ombre pattern that looks like glitter. And then the linen pattern in orange. And then the patterns start over. 
So there are two of each of the 12 designs. So now I want to lay out all of the papers so that you can see the matching patterns in the different colors. So you get three of the linen pattern and then three of the sunburst patterns. And then you get three of the waves pattern. One is in blue, one is in a purple shade, and then the orange. And then here are the three patterns with the little tiny stars all over them. And then here are the two sheets of the ombre pattern using the colors in the kit. And then there are the two sheets of the bokeh pattern with the circles. And then here are all of the beautiful watercolor patterns in the purple, blue, and teal colors. These are probably my favorite and what I'm going to use to make my cards with using my card challenges. So if you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, I will place a link below so you can check that out. It's where you can make a bunch of cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. And of course, these two glitter papers, which are also my favorite. So again, I'll show you a look at all of the contents of the kit. And as mentioned before, I have placed a link where you can go subscribe to receive the monthly Crafty Courtyard kits at Pink and Main. It really is a great value and you can make a bunch of cards. I've been using their Crafty Courtyard kits with my quarterly card making challenges for several years now and I am a huge fan. I just love how everything coordinates together. So I, I do offer a free printable with cutting guides and card sketches. And like I said before, I will link that below. I... Uh, We'll be making a set of cards with this kit and I'll share that video with you soon. So make sure you're a subscriber and make sure you've turned on those notifications so you don't miss it. I hope you'll click on the like button down below and leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting!